Hey, so you probably have friends and family who aren't Christians, and you long for them to be saved. You long to have a conversation with them in which you can share the gospel with them and that they would believe in Christ and and be saved from their sins. And you've probably had fears before about how do I do that? How do I go about sharing my faith with them without, you know, sounding judgmental or without coming across as, you know, holier than thou or as if, even as if you have all the answers. I think these are all good things to struggle with because it shows that it's on your mind. It shows that you do have compassion for the lost and you you do love your neighbor, you love your family and your friends, obviously. And sometimes the hardest part of starting these conversations is just getting started. So I like to think about it in terms of pain points. Like, what are the things that are in people's lives that are causing them to have stress and pain and, and and worries in life and really realize for yourself how Jesus solves those things for you. And then just be aware that people have uh, these kinds of struggles as well. Like we're not the only ones that have worries and struggles and fears and things that just in life kind of get us down a little bit. We all That's very, very normal for everyone in life. And just being aware of that helps us to see people in their needs and then bring the gospel to them in their need. Because the truth is the gospel helps us in all of our needs. It helps us when we're weak. It helps us not only with salvation, but also in the day-to-day life today. It reminds us that no matter what we're going through, God is always there with us and that we can always trust in him. We can rely on him. He can get us through the day. And if we need that and the gospel does that for us, then surely the gospel can do that for other people as well. So like I said, the hardest thing oftentimes is just bringing up the conversation. There's a verse in the Bible that talks about this. It says in Colossians chapter 4, verse 6, Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. And what that's saying is that when we have conversation, any conversation, it doesn't have to be gospel focused. It doesn't have to be about faith at all. But as we're having conversations with people, simply spread some salt. (laughs) We all like a little salt on our food. And back in biblical days, salt was even more important. Salt preserved their food. It killed any kind of bacteria in the food. They even use it for currency, buying and selling. They use salt because everybody needed it. So as Christians, as we have conversations with people, are to sprinkle our conversations with salt. Give people what they need encourage them. Let them know that they're loved, that that you love them. And in the course of doing that, oftentimes they're going to ask you about the hope that you have. And then that gives you an opportunity to share with them the reason for the hope that you have. People are hurting. People are searching. We don't have to be Bible thumpers. If we simply live out our lives, show people the hope that we have in Christ, both by the confidence that we have in him and also by loving them just as God has loved us, they're going to ask us how we can be so cheerful, how we can have so much hope in this dark world. And when that happens, simply point them to Jesus. We all have all of our hopes fulfilled in Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you again next time.